Hello, I'm Jeff Kilberg, founder and CEO of KKM Financial. I'd like to spend a few minutes today to talk about the KKM Sector Rotation ETF Model Portfolio. This model portfolio, which is a large cap core holding, was started in 2002, nearly 25 years ago. I'm gonna share my screen, which will allow us to look at this brochure, which further describes the methodology of the KKM Sector Rotation ETF Model Portfolio. As you can see, this portfolio has relative strength methodology at its core. We like to utilize the relative strength methodology as this is a quantitative approach. This is not a discretionary portfolio. This is a quantitative, meaning that we allow X's and O's, relative strength methodology, a constant comparison, a weekly screen to help us better understand which sectors are revealing strength and more importantly, which sectors are revealing weakness. As you can see, NASDAQ Dorsey Wright, which is a relative strength guru, has been utilizing this methodology dating back to 2002, the inception of this portfolio. If you talk about the model objective, it really is simply to help us better understand which sectors are revealing strength in the US economy. But more importantly, we wanna understand which sectors are revealing weakness and not own those sectors. Most people have exposure to the S&P 500, which owns all 11 sectors. This model portfolio, has the ability to own as little as three sectors or has the ability to own more, not only just the, the S&P 500 sectors, but some of the subsectors, not just technology, for example, but also semiconductors. So if we look at this, there's no constraints. There's no need to own five names or seven names. This model since 2002 has been a static uniform strategy that allows us to really understand what sectors of the US economy are hitting and revealing strength and more importantly, which ones are not revealing strength and which ones the model should stay away from. If you see the portfolio here, it's remained invested 100% at all times. But again, it has the ability to own as little as three ETFs or sectors or subsectors or as many as sometimes historically we've seen it hold as many as 17 sectors and subsectors of the U.S. economy. If you talk about you know, the addition or deletion is being made, that's really important because then we do have a rebalance and contingent upon if there's 10 ETFs in the portfolio or just five, we want to rebalance and that helps the model buy its losers and sell its winners. Take those profits, redistribute that, and again, get that exposure to the U.S. equity market via these ETFs. You can see the iShare sector rotation model has nearly $3 billion in it. And we have the ability to have this rules-based quantitative strategy. This is not, again, a discretionary portfolio. It's a rules-based quantitative strategy to help us not get emotional in the marketplace, which is very easy to do. It helps us strip out the emotion and stay focused on which exposure we want for advisors and their clients to have moving forward. It is a technical approach to portfolio construction, very different than a typical uh, active manager who has more of a discretionary approach. And we think this really fits well as one piece of an investor's mosaic, one piece of the puzzle to help them really strip out that emotion, which has really overwhelmed markets ever since we have seen COVID hit markets just four years ago. Here's the actual universe. You can see there are sectors and subsectors from biotech to tech software, to energy, to industrials, to basic materials. And we have the ability to own as many of these possibly as the model suggests or as little as three of these ETF um, holdings. Again, the funds are only removed when relative strength charts are showing weakness. And they're only added when relative strength charts are showing strength. And then that portfolio is rebalanced. Here's an example of a positive example of the US Consumer Services ETF, IYC versus IYY, which is the Dow Jones ETF. So that comparison, it's not to uh, another piece uh, of the, the market, it's actually to the ETFs. They're compared and measured against each other to reveal the strength amongst the portfolio, amongst the universe of this ETF model portfolio. Here's a negative example where you can see energy. In this example, dating back in 2019, it was asked to leave the model because it was revealing weakness at that moment in time. Here are the current constituents. Uh, as the summer of 2024, there's a technology exposure. Again, another technology exposure, but more drilled down, more specific, North American tech software. You can see financial exposure, industrial exposure, broad swath, 
tech exposure, which again has been a major theme, not just in 2023, but again in 2024. And then semiconductors. Everyone's heard of NVIDIA. Everyone's heard of the semiconductor and the artificial intelligence theme. This sector rotation has found a way to capture that exposure with when you look at the exposure it has, not just in tech, not just in software, but also specifically in SOX, S-O-X-X is the ETF that is the iShares Semiconductor ETF. If you're looking for more information on this, this is a portfolio that I manage. I'd love to have the opportunity to talk with you if you have any questions about the portfolio. And here are some important disclosures, which we always like to include, keep our compliance officers happy. But thank you for your time. And again, I hope that the large cap core holding of the KKM sector rotation continues to serve your investing needs. Thank you.